Hey everybody, it's time for another game pickup video. I got six more games, a couple Xbox 360 titles that I'm very excited about. Uh, two PlayStation 2 titles and at least one of them I'm super glad that I purchased it again and re-added it to the collection uh, because it's a game that I actually sold maybe a year and a half ago and uh, the PlayStation 3 title is it's, it's a fascinating title, it's not like uh, something that was very high on the priority list. So um, yeah, let's just get started uh, and uh, talk about the games that I've picked up and also maybe a little bit about why I've picked them up. So yeah, the first one, I'm just gonna say that I have no experience with uh, this one. It's Way of the Samurai 3. Now, um, I stumbled upon this game. Uh, I, I, I actually didn't know anything about this game at all. I might have seen it like here and there, but I completely forgot about it. While searching for PlayStation 2 titles, I stumbled upon the first one because, uh, yeah, I do think that the first and the second one are the, on the PlayStation 2. This one is also available on the PlayStation 3. But yeah, no experience with it, so I, I can't say much about it. The only thing that I could gather from watching videos is that, now, first of all, it's definitely a game that I do want to experience and see if it's something for me. Um, and, uh, you know, I just generally like this team. It, it sort of reminds me a little bit about the uh, Yakuza games, but also the, um, the spin-off title that was on the PlayStation 3 that had also that uh, Samurai uh, Feudal Japan feel. Um, but yeah, apparently this is an open world game, so I did not know specifically what that entails, like open world. Uh, it just feels to me that you do have some uh, that this is not like a linear experience. You do have like options like, okay, I'm gonna do this mission or this mission. Um, I don't know how in depth it actually goes. And that's something that I'm kind of curious about. I hope I will enjoy it because, you know, uh, the first one is on my radar. It is not on the list for the PlayStation 2. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's probably something that I will enjoy. Now, I don't know how difficult it is to play uh, in terms of like, uh, you know, is it really like a hard game or not? But yeah, uh, it's something that uh, I, again, that I do want to experience. And uh, I don't want to read the back of the box, but, you know, it says like it's an open world adventure and there are like tons of weapons that you could choose from. Like, yeah, like many other games, but this one says 100 weapons. So that's a lot, I guess. And uh, there are multiple endings, so that to me tells me a little bit like, okay, uh, at least, you know, the story could change up or uh, depending on the, the, the choices that you have made. Uh, again, not sure like how in-depth it actually goes, so um, yeah, uh, that's something that I do want to experience. Uh, so this is complete in box and uh, it does come with two discs. Now the uh, second disc is uh, a art book CD. So I am gonna guess that's just a CD with some images on it. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, you know, I actually don't know if it's something that I could pop in the 360 and then uh, from there view it, or if that's solely something that you do need to do on the, on the PC. So that's also something that I need to discover. Overall, I see this game go for, uh, you know, for 20 to 30 euros or so. I don't see it that often. Um, the copy that I've picked up isn't in a decent condition. Like, it's it's completely fine. Um, the, the front cover, but that might be due to the DVD case. It's a little bit, uh, like, wrinkled. Um, I don't think it had, like, any uh, water damage or so. Uh, but yeah, it's not like in the best state. Uh, generally, uh, I often mention this, like if it's like a, a more expensive game, I do want to try to get like a proper version of this one or, or of this game. Um, but uh, yeah, I made the decision to purchase this one. I think in the end I paid around like 22 for it. Um, it was on my radar. I kept seeing it like here and there, like maybe twice before this one, but I kept missing out and didn't purchase it because I wasn't sure because I have not played it. But yeah, I pulled the trigger and uh, it's uh, part of the collection now. So very happy about that. Uh, 
遠越ながら The next one is going to be the PlayStation 2 title. Uh, it was a very cheap title. Um, but yeah, I picked it up because I also do want to experience it. Um, I paid maybe around like two euros for it. And uh, I will do my best to pronounce it. Um, not that I have any difficulties with saying Lord of the Rings, but it's uh, Aragorn's Adventure. Now, this is the Dutch version. Uh, when I boot it up, the dialogue isn't Dutch though, but it does say that it uh, also contains the original English version. So I do think you can change that in the options, but I did not do that when I tested out the game to see if it works. Um, yeah, it's complete in box. Uh, the disc is in a good state. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, it's in Dutch in the back, but I will show the, the back of the, the case. Now, there's a reason why I've picked it up, because first of all, it's cheap. I never hear anyone talk about it. And, you know, from what I could gather from watching videos and just testing out the game, it feels like a very simplistic hack and slash type of game. And, uh, you know, I enjoy those type of games. I think it's even more simplistic than the uh, the Baldur's Gate, like the Dark Alliance games, and uh, or the Champions of Norad, or even the, you know the other Lord of the Rings games, like the Two Towers and the Return of the King uh, games. So this is more a kids-friendly type of game. I think that's the best way to describe it. That's not saying that it's a bad thing. Um, I do enjoy the, those games, and um, there is also a PlayStation 3 version of this one, uh, which apparently has different content. Like um, this one is more top down. And from what I could gather, the PlayStation 3 version is more uh, a third person, third person type of game. Uh, also in hack and slash, um, it follows the same story, but it has different story beats. But even though uh, those are not in here, the PlayStation 2 version does have like different areas and also different story beats like here and there. Like I don't know to what what extent, but you know, that's something that I do want to see and experience. I do own the other Lord of the Rings games on the GameCube and uh, yeah, I was still missing this one. And then again, it was for two euros. So uh, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Uh, now, I mentioned I picked up a PlayStation 3 title, and I think you can guess which one I have picked up. <laughs> it's Lord of the Rings, Aragorn's uh, Quest. Oh, so the, the, the English translation is not even Adventure, uh, it's Quest. Um, but yeah, uh, well, I can show uh, the back of this box though. Uh, this one, it's in complete, uh, you know, complete in box. That's the way uh, how I often like it with these type of games. This one is just a little bit more expensive though. I think this one was around like eight or so, which seems like a decent price. It looks very nice. I, I like the visual art style. That's not saying that it's like oh, uh, top of the bar, but it's like good enough. And um, it's it's simplistic and that's, that's okay. 
but yeah, it's something that I do want to experience and uh, see for myself, like if this is actually enjoyable. There must be a reason like why nobody is talking or ever mentions this game. Uh, but when I read up on it, like people seem to generally like it, but just mention that it's uh, to, yeah, to some extent a, a little bit simplistic, uh, what I already mentioned. It's a PlayStation Move, it has PlayStation Move features, that's not something that I do want to try out, but uh, it's, yeah, it's fascinating. So the, uh, the Move, it has intense motion controlled combat. Wow. So there's even some horse riding. Um, uh, well, that's cool. And it uh, is a co-op game. So I'm not planning on playing it, uh, you know, co-op. But, you know, if you're interested in that, now you know. You can play it together with friends. At all times they feel the presence of the ring. Where are you taking us? To the house of Elrond. It would be a long journey to Rivendell. Your hobbit friends went to stock up on supplies for the journey. Ask around town. Somebody must watch your step. There are some strange folk around since those black riders came through. Suddenly. A gang of nasty-looking ruffians attacked. Servants of Sauron, no doubt. Get him! The next title, uh, that was definitely a game that was high on the list for the Xbox 360. Um, I spoke about this game before because I actually purchased it maybe two or three times already, but every time I had to return it back to the seller because the, the, scratch, the disc was just scratch, scratched and uh, uh, it's not a cheap game. So yeah, I had to return it and uh, find a better copy of it. And I'm talking about Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now this is the, the Dutch version though, like that's not a problem because the game is in English. Uh, but yeah, um, this is a very good copy. So I, I'm, I'm glad that I can finally cross this one off the list because uh, boy, it, it was definitely a search. Uh, sadly, there's a sticker on the manual, but uh, spoke about it before. Like I'm not too bothered by it, uh, might attempt removing it, but sometimes it's just too sticky or I'm like, yeah, is it worth like possible like damage on the manual? Like I'm not sure. The disc is in a good state as well. Uh, the, the thing though is I already have a loose copy of the disc. So that's probably one that I will try to sell or just keep in the, the case as well. Um, you know, to be honest, I have no idea like how I came across the disc. I, I it might have come with um, the Xbox 360 that I purchased this year. Uh, the seller just gave like a spindle with all kinds of different games and that one wasn't in there. I, so I did not even know that. But yeah, happy that I've added this to the collection. Uh, the thing though is, this game is rather expensive at the moment. Uh, I see it ranging between like 40 or 50 euros. Um, I don't know if that is actually worth it. Um, I don't know. Like I uh, paid around like 30 for it, excluding shipping. So maybe a little bit more than that. But again, I think I sold a couple games. So I had the budget, budget for it. Uh, but yeah, I remember playing this game and really enjoying it. It's one of the um, Need for Speed games that I actually finished and completed fully. Um, I played it on a PC and that's, I guess the best version, but besides the PC version, this is the one to, to get because the other uh, most wanted versions are on the uh, previous generation. Now the thing though is like if if the most wanted game is still on your list and a, a game that you do want to get, sometimes you, you do read some rumors about like a remastered version. And I I don't know what is up with that. So it might happen that 
you know, this game actually might get a re-release, like a remastered version. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't recommend purchasing it for like 40 or 50 or even more than that. Like, I'm not sure, like the uh, NTSC version, like for how much that one actually goes for. Um, I might say, like, just wait for a little bit. Just the same with the Shadow of the Damned uh, game for the Xbox 360. Uh, that trailer was actually released uh, a while ago and uh, for the remastered version. And it looks very good. It looks very good. So, um, yeah, most wanted, finally, it's part of the collection. And now you will see that the remaster is gonna get like announced next day or today even, who knows. Um, so yeah, the next one, uh, it's also an uh, Xbox 360 title. Um, yeah, it was high on the list. Uh, a game that I definitely wanted to add to the collection. I did want the, or do want the PlayStation 3 version as well, or that had a little bit more priority. Um, but yeah, there were several reasons why I've picked it up. So uh, yeah, let's talk about Silent Hill HD collection. Now I know this is not the way to play Silent Hill 2 and 3. Um, so this game has uh, Silent Hill 2 and 3 on the disc. And uh, yeah, let's just show, show the back of the box first. Uh, it's one of, it is in Dutch, so my apologies. Uh, this is survival horror on its best. That is what it says. It's complete in box. Again, stick on the manual, like why? I'd rather have it in on the manual than on the actual cover. Um, but yeah, Silent Hill HD collection, um, you know, at the launch, like there was a lot of backlash and uh, negative comments about this game, this collection, because they are not the, the versions that we have played on the PlayStation 2 and um, on the original Xbox. Like they are not the best versions uh, and uh, if I'm correct, like they are maybe like not even the final versions, but just like uh, not the final build versions, like the developer build versions. Uh, they are a little bit buggy, like the voiceovers have changed, uh, I think for two and for three as well. And uh, you know, some of the graphical effects like the mist in Silent Hill 2 just doesn't look the same. Um, it, there's a, a list of things that are wrong with the games that are on uh, this disc. Uh, and that actually makes it a very fascinating title for me to experience and to see what the differences are actually. Um, as mentioned, I wanted the PlayStation 3 version because that is part of the uh, HD collection as well. Um, and, um, you know, that's a sub collection that I might want to collect because that uh, uh, contains, for example, like the uh, both Call of War collections, the Sly Cooper collection, Rage and the Clank, and uh, also the Jack and Dexter. Uh, it's, it's a very small sub collection, but th those, uh, you know, that collection like houses like a lot of like very good games on the PlayStation 3. But yeah, it was on my list, but. Uh, in the last couple of months or so, I, I just kept seeing the price go up and up and up for that one because it was maybe like around 30 euros or so. And now lately I see it more between like 40 or 50 and I don't see it that often. It might actually have to, something to do with the Silent Hill 2 remake that is coming out later this year. 
Um, but yeah, I was able to find this one for 30 euros and um, uh, you know, it's par, you know, it, it was on the list and I do want it for the Xbox 360 as well. Um, and uh, yeah, already on the 360, I own Downpour and Homecoming. So this kind of ends that sub collection as well, because I think that's all the Silent Hill games on the 360. So yeah, the this one, uh, because mostly because of the price, I was like, this is the way to go. And maybe some someday I will see the uh, Silent Hill collection on the PlayStation 3 for a better price and not for 40 or 50, because I, I don't think I, I want to spend that amount of money for um, the, that version on the PlayStation 3 as well. But yeah, Silent Hill HD collection, love it. It's uh, now part of the uh, survival horror sub collection as well on the 360 and uh, yeah, it's completed box again. And uh, yeah, really want to experience and see what the differences are, uh, you know, when you compare it to the PlayStation 2 version and then this version and uh, yeah uh, I think it's playable but maybe not the best um, yeah a while ago I picked up like the PlayStation 2 versions again because I sold the Silent Hill 2 last year uh, and definitely regretted that so I repurchased that one again a while ago and uh, I uh, yeah I do want to replay all the Silent Hill games again and uh, I don't have like that much experience with Silent Hill 3 and 4. Uh, I do have those for the places 2 as well. So um, yeah, there's a lot of Silent Hill that I need to play. take it anyway. I might need it. Yeah, the final game, that's also another game that I sold uh, last year or like between two years or like last year or so. I don't know why I sold it. Um, I do have a guess though or an idea on why I sold it. But uh, yeah, let's, let's just talk about it. It's Yakuza 2 for the PlayStation 2. Now it's a completed box, it is in a very good condition as well. Uh, very glad that I was able to find like a good condition because the copy that I owned was also uh, brand new that I think I actually purchased it like around the launch of Yakuza 2. Uh, yeah, again, I sold it. I, I finished this game, I really enjoyed it. I did own Yakuza 1 still on the PlayStation 2. I tried selling that one as well, I think at the time, but because the price wasn't that high, I, I felt like, okay, why should I sell it? Because, uh, you know, I still do like y the Yakuza games, but uh, somehow uh, I ended up selling this one because it was, uh, yeah, rather expensive. Maybe I sold it for around like 40 or 50 or so. Uh, I think more around like 50. Um, and uh, there was probably something else that I did want to purchase around that time. And I think uh, I also sold it because of the Kiwami games on the PlayStation 4, because that's a good substitute or uh, like a good remake uh, based on the Yakuza 2 game. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think I was thinking like, well, am I ever going to play the PlayStation 2 title? But I still think like the PlayStation 2 title has also something you know something nice about it and uh even though the remake is like fantastic and very well done 
uh, yeah, nothing beats like the PlayStation 2 look and, uh, you know, it's a good game. Uh, I love these type of games, like the beat em ups and uh, especially uh, the more complex ones like the Yakuza games. I think I paid around like 40 for this one, but I also sold another game to actually purchase this one. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm glad I have it now in the collection again, because, uh, you know, uh, again, I had the uh, first one on the PlayStation 2 still, so now it's complete again. And uh, I do own like most of them on the PlayStation 3 and now also on the PlayStation 4. Um, that does not mean saying that I do want to get like this sub collection as well, but it's uh, getting close. But I did sell the um, the Yakuza spin-off game, the uh, the Dead Souls. I think that's the that's the one, and that one also has gotten quite expensive uh, in the last year or so. Uh, maybe I will see a, see a deal on that one. But yeah, very happy with this uh, stack of games that I've added to the collection. I think I'm the most excited about like Need for Speed, like most wanted, of course. Like uh, uh, that's the most common one, but the one that I still see go up in price. And uh, yeah, I do want to play it again. And um, yeah, I, I, you know what? I'm happy with all the games. Very happy. The the Lord of the Rings, the Aragorn's Quest is it's just a interesting title and uh, something that I do want to experience because I never played it so yeah now I now I can so th those are the pickups I think for uh, next week or so like I'm not sure there are a couple games that I do want to purchase so I need to see like if I do get those in time there are some PlayStation 2 titles on the way again I keep mentioning that I'm not collecting for PlayStation 2, but there are some games that I do want to pick up for the PlayStation 2. But the list is just very small. Listen, the list is very small. Uh, some Xbox 360 titles are also on the way, and uh, I do have a Nintendo DS title uh, to show soon. Uh, so yeah, more videos are coming up. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you all later. Bye.